Hey guys, this is Vikash for Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, let's create this type of title animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins, which is inspired by an upcoming Hindi film Happy Hardy and Here. So without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so let's start by creating a new composition. So click on this new composition and I'm going to call it main comp. And set it 1920 by 1080. Let's go with 60 frames per second and set it 5 seconds long. Hit OK. And now let's take one more composition that is going to be our media placeholder where we can drag our image or video file that we want to use in this project. So go to composition, new composition and let's call it media and set it 1920 by 1080 frame rate 60 duration make it 5 seconds long hit ok and now let's import an image file so go to project window right click on that and go to import file and select your image file so i'm using this image that i found on pixabay.com and i will provide a link in the description so you can download this image from that link if you want and click on import and drag this image into this media composition and hit S on the keyboard to open this scale property and let's scale it down and fit this image according to our composition size like that all right and then go to your main composition and drag this media comp into this main composition and go to your effect and preset and search for tint effect so this is our tint effect let's apply this tint on this media comp and make it black and white all right and now let's take a solid layer so go to layer new and take a new solid layer and i'm gonna call it color and hit ok and now go to this effect and preset again and search for field effect and apply this field on this color solid layer and let's pick a nice sky blue color hit ok and now let's change this blending mode normal to color burn if you can't see this blending mode then click on this toggle switches all right and now we get this type of effect and now select this both layer right click on that and click on pre-compose and let's call it bz for background and check this option move all attributes hit ok all right and now let's type a text over here so select this text tool and go to this paragraph and click on this center text if you can't see this paragraph option then go to window and check this option paragraph all right and then go to your character and select your favorite font style so in this case i'm using this century gothic which is my favorite font style and of course you can choose any different font style that you want and set it to bold and i'm going to set this font size 200 pixel maybe and set this character spacing 100 hit enter and click over here and type your first title and now let's align this text in center so go to alignment and again if you can't see this align then go to window and check this align all right and now click on this align horizontally and click on this align vertically and now we have to create a rectangular shape according to this text so click on this blank area and select this rectangle tool and let's create a rectangle shape according to this text like that all right and now right click on the shape layer click on rename and let's call it shape one and drag the shape below this text layer and now let's align this rectangular shape in center so select the shape and go to this alignment and click on this align horizontally and click on this align vertically all right and now open this rectangle one and open this rectangle path one and Click on this button and unlink this X and Y size and set this Y size something around 200, hit enter and set this X 1100 and hit enter. And let's close this and select this shape layer and change this track mat. If you can't see this track mat option, then click on this toggle switches and change this track mat to alpha inverted mat. And now we get this type of effect as you can see. And now select the shape and tutorial both layer and right click on that and click on pre-compose and let's call it title one. 
Check this option move all attributes, hit OK. And now hold control and scroll up to zoom in and select this title one and go to effect and preset and search for drop shadow. So this is our drop shadow effect. Let's apply this drop shadow on this title one. And now let's do some settings. So go to this direction and set this direction something around 90 degree and hit enter and set this distance eight and hit enter and now it's looking like this all right and now go to project window and select this title one hit ctrl d to duplicate and drag this title two into this main composition and double click on this title one and open it up and select this text layer and select this text tool and let's change this text and type your second title hit ctrl a to select all and let's type your second title so i'm going to type after effects and now hit ctrl a to select all and let's down the size of this text something around 140 hit enter and set this character spacing maybe 50 and hit enter all right and now let's align this text in center so go to alignment click on this align horizontally click on this align vertically all right and now select the shape one open this and open this content open this rectangle one and open this rectangle path one and now set this y size something around 150 hit enter and now it's looking perfect and then close this shape one and then go to your main composition and select this title one hold shift on the keyboard and press up arrow key and set this first title over here and hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and let's scale it down a bit and set this value something around 65 and hit enter and hold shift and drag it down and set it like that all right and now select this title one and go to effect controls and select this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c to copy and select the second title and hit ctrl v to paste this drop shadow and now as you can see we have a drop shadow effect on both the text all right and now select this move tool and click on fit and now we have to set this text in center so select this text one and text two both hold shift and press down arrow key and set this text in center like that and now let's close this and now let's animate this text so go to the end of this animation and select this both text text one and text two hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and set the position of this title one over here and now select this title one and title two and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position property and click over here also all right and then go to very beginning of this animation and select this title one and set this title on left hand side and select this one and set this second title on right hand side like that and as you can see we have a very basic animation like that and now let's take a camera so go to layer new and take a new camera and let's call it cam and set it 35 mm preset and hit ok and now we have to take a null object so go to layer new and take a new null object and select this camera and pick this pick whip and attach this camera with this null object and now let's animate this camera so click on this toggle switches and turn on 3d button for all these layer and select this null object hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and set this scale value something around 95 percent and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and go to the end of this animation and set this scale value something around 120 percent and hit enter and as you can see we have a camera animation like that and now select this both title title one and title two and hit r on the keyboard to open this rotation property and set this y rotation something around 15 degree hit enter and close this and now we have to create a distance between this background and this text in g space so select this background hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and set this g position something around 1000 hit enter 
and now go to the end of this animation and hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and let's scale it up and fit this image and as you can see we have an animation something like this and now let's create an aspect ratio for cinematic look so we have to take one more solid layer so go to layer new and take a new solid and let's call it black solid and make it pure black hit ok and now select this black solid and double click on this rectangle tool and add a rectangle mask and select this hold shift on the keyboard and press down arrow key and set it like that and select these two control point also and hold shift on the keyboard and press up arrow key and set it like that and check this option inward all right and now it's almost done so go to full screen and let's have a look all right so it's looking nice and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye